Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Google Chrome web browser is not opening or displaying web pages properly. So while this isn't necessarily a Google Chrome problem, this is a general, more of a general problem to be honest. I'm going to be going through a quick fix that should hopefully be able to resolve the issue for you guys. Now, if it is a specific Google Chrome prompt, I would recommend going through programs and features and uninstalling it and then reinstalling it using a different web browser. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick command line prompt we can put in that should hopefully be able to resolve this issue without too much of a hassle. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in command prompt. You want to right click on command prompt which should be the best match and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window you want to select yes. And now it says elevated command line window you want to type in IP config. So IP config space forward slash flush DNS. There should not be any space in between the forward slash and the flush DNS. There should only be a space in between the IP config and the forward slash. And then once you have it as it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter. And then once you've done that successfully, you want to type in NET SH space WinSock. So W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. So again, NET SH space WinSock space reset. Then you want to hit enter. And then the output should be, if you typed everything in correctly, it should say that it has reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. I would recommend you restart the computer at this point in time after you're closing out of any open windows or applications. And hopefully the problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope I helped you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.